What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Daniel with DM Media. So recently you've seen me post uh, a couple of videos on the FRC uh, rally and then also about the Gainesville sinkhole that's going on here. So in this video I want to cover it a little more in depth. I've flown out there for three days straight, one week and three days straight, another one, another week. I work full time, what can I do? Uh, I try to go out there as much as I can. So I put make this into a 3D model and it actually came out okay. Uh, so I'm, that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. Uh, disclaimers to the mapping, drone mapping community out there. Uh, there are no GCPs, ground control points in this data because I don't have the money for a GPS unit yet. Um, so I'm not really using that, so I'm not using that. It's also really hard, as you're gonna see from some videos, it's also really hard to get into the the area. There are no manual type points because I am on Pix40 Cloud and I haven't been able to, either manual type points don't exist on that thing or I haven't been able to find it, find how to use it. So if you do happen to find it, make a note as you're watching this video and feel free to comment in the comments below. I'm using Pix40 because I don't have the hardware. I'm not a surveyor, very important. I'm not a surveyor. Uh, probably not yet at least, but I'm not a surveyor. Uh, I did make some reference measurements uh, in order to kind of be com comfortable with the measurements that are being put out on Pix40. We'll see them in the uh, data as soon as we get to it. All right, so let's get into the data. Well, my little presentation. It's the Gainesville Sinkhole, DM Media, that's moi. Here's my website, here's my Facebook, here's my IG, and the only thing that's different is YouTube. So this sinkhole did come out, the on, I came out on the 26th. It came, the sinkhole did occur on the Thursday, I believe, before this date. So these are a couple of sectional pictures. I tilted the camera down into the map, into the 3D map, and I got like a nice little section of how deep the sinkhole actually went goes on this first day. Uh, I'll have some video playing in one of these corners so you can watch that also. I'll be putting images up here too. This is the 26 on Pix4D. The diameter of this is 78 feet. I'm standing right over there. We can't really cross this barrier. So yeah, this is what I mean. I can't really put in GCPs in here or in here or in here because it's all blocked off. I made another annotation where it's the depth and it's about 59 feet. This is kind of at an angle. You're gonna see later on that it's gonna get shallower and shallower as we go on, um, as the sinkhole progresses. Now, the reference points that I did make are my, uh, my carrying case, which is about a little bit about two feet. Okay, this is the point cloud. You're gonna see it's a little fuzzy, a little blurry. But that is my, um, I guess my reference point. It's the best I got. And then also the roof of this building is also about eight feet. This is the 27th. We see it's expanded a lot from here to here. And then on the 28th, you see that it starts to boil in. More water comes in from the aquifer. I've heard trees and other things fell in there and tried to plug it up. This pool is now deeper in there. Um, and I have a data set for that date. So I did do some cut and fill volumetric measurements just to try to see. And there's about 4,000 uh, cubic, cubic yards of land missing in there. But because I don't have GCPs, I don't really want to go into, into that. Uh, Diameter wise, it grew to 88 feet, where previously it was about 78 feet, grew about 10 feet. And then I did measure depth again. Uh, ignore this, it's not, Pix4D is not gonna measure it while it's in the 2D model. But in the 3D model, we saw that it went to 29 feet probably from the water that has risen from the from the aquifer in there. We did have some rain those, day, those days as well. So that is the 29 foot measurement. Diameter we went over, it's about 88 feet. Once again, my box, 
over there. 1.6 feet, 1.6 feet. So I did do my landing pad and that's about two feet, two and a half feet. So this is on the fourth. So from here, from the 28th to the fourth, we see a lot more water coming in from the aquifer or rainfall. Uh, it's got a nice blue to it. This is still the model. And here we see that it's starting to bowl a little more. Okay, and as well as expand a whole bunch more. I mean, from what it started out from here to here, that's a lot. We see that it starts to bowl a little bit more and expand out to the sides. Water is still present within the sinkhole. And then finally we get to the last day. This image is a little bit messy because of all this, all the, uh, the mesh, the 3D mesh was in there. But we can see a gigantic difference between there and here. Well, not gigantic, but it did grow a lot more from the, the fourth to the sixth. So we still have the area being about uh, 7,000 square feet for the area of the hole. We still have our reference measurement over here of the roof of the house. Over here, we have my box. We have the depth, depth. it's 21 feet in depth, okay, 21 feet deep. And then it grew from, from what was our previous measurement? 60 something feet. And now it's at 102 feet wide. Also very saddening, the six surrounding houses one of them is being torn down. They've all had to leave, especially this family. I mean, they don't have a house, but this family had to leave. Their house had been to uh, torn down. Um, I heard it was being rented out. And yeah, it's very, it's very sad to see when your, when your home goes down. Hopefully these people can get some help. We've seen this expand for the past couple of weeks from the 26th until the 10th. And I will continue to go out there and take some data points. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Uh, I've got a Patreon link if you guys would like to support me, I'm even by just pledging a dollar a day, a dollar a month, a dollar a day, a dollar a month. That would uh, that would really help out the channel. Also, please go ahead, follow my uh, Instagram, my Facebook. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, so that way you can get updated on any new videos that come up. All right, thanks guys.